Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. This is going to be a first impressions on a new zero tolerance. I wanted to start with the packaging because that's changed and I didn't realize it was changed. So I've watched a couple of videos and no one told me. So I uh, thought I'd let everyone know they have changed the packaging. Now, it's interesting that you'll recall I had this box a few days ago on the 0560 first impression and it still has the real beast logo on it well now they've changed it to experience it and i don't know how i feel about that well at least with this model i think it's more of a beast than the knife i just showed you so perhaps they could have left the real beast uh stuff on here anyway they've gone away from that with the packaging if you want a quick look this is this is the packaging. This is what we're talking about. Uh, 0308 KVT G20, G10. Okay, you guys get the, get the picture. Let's grab the knife. So, zero tolerance, 0308. Uh, perhaps this means zero tolerance is back. Um, certainly, I have to say, uh, before I say anything else, this zero tolerance, this, this knife, uh, evokes a lot of, of nostalgia in me. Uh, just the feel of it in hand just brings back memories of the 0560 and the 0300, both knives that I absolutely adored, even the 0200. It just, it really has that old ZT feel that uh, was so exciting back when I was first getting into knives and dreaming of the day that I would own a zero tolerance. Now, who knows, I've probably had 20 different ones pass through my hands and some of them have been more exciting, some of them have been less, uh, but none of them really captured that initial excitement of, of those first two for me that were just so, so awesome uh, until this one. So I, I will say there's, <laughs> there's some strong emotion here, guys. I'm not gonna start crying or anything, but uh, <laughs> I have to say there's there's a lot of bias here toward really wanting to love this knife. And in hand, I have to say, if I close my eyes and just feel it in hand, it really feels like a 0300. Uh, and so absolutely, I believe, belongs in that lineup. Really... Um, Really, really cool to see this back. And it really feels like this could have been a zero tolerance from, I don't know, 2012 or something. Uh, and to me, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. <laughs> I know for some people we're like, yeah, well, that sucks. Um, so let's get to the features and I'll try to, you know, I'll, I'll remind you again of this as we go along. So up front, we've got this blade. It's a big wide blade. Again, very zero tolerance-esque feel or feeling blade. Not super thick blade stock, which is kind of nice to see. High flat grind, fairly thin behind the edge. So this is definitely a blade that will cut. We've got 20 CV, stonewash finish, nice swedge here, sort of a modified drop point, rather, you know, all not really a clip point, but sort of has that clippish look to it with the, the transition point right here. Uh, but, I, you know, I'm still going to go with modified drop point for describing this blade. Really nice cutout here for the uh, plunge grind. And overall, yeah, just a blade that I really, really like. Uh, you know, you sort of almost, when I get this in hand, I feel like the blade should have some tiger stripes on it or something, because it really feels that, that ZT-esque to me. Uh, moving down here to the pivot, it's KVT pivot. Um, all the standard stuff we'd expect at this point. It's a flipper deployed knife with a stainless steel, or with a titanium frame lock, stainless steel lock bar insert. Uh, the pivot here, check that out. So for the pivot, instead of going with a Torx option, they've gone with, you know, this, you know, you could fit a wrench on here or, you know, a pair of pliers uh, either way. I'd be inclined to use a wrench just because of the, the extra, uh, extra ability to lock in and not risk slipping off and messing this all up. All right. Uh, cutout here, honestly, guys, I'm not sure how I feel about the cutout. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, the design looks kind of cool with the cutout. I don't think there's, you know, I, I kind of like the look of it. However, uh, I definitely see the potential for like gunk and crap getting into the pivot there. Uh, I, I actually complained about this on the Spyderco Shaman and it was just that their, their mounting holes were screwed in there, kind of lining up with the pivot. So this is definitely worse than that. And now, is that a theoretical problem or a real problem? You know, only time will tell. So 
you know, we'll have to reserve judgment on that, uh, unless you don't like the look of it. If you don't like the look of it, you can tell right away. Okay, moving on to the handle. And the handle here, again, is one of the things that just makes this a quintessential zero tolerance. We've got 3D Machine G10 and Titanium, very nicely done. The fit and finish is quite nice. Uh, all textured, really reminds me of sort of the Zero 0200 texturing here. And, and again, all of this just ties right back to uh, the stuff we used to like on these when they first started coming around and, and were so exciting and so impressive. And again, um, I, I feel like I need to say it more than once. As soon as I get this knife in hand, it really does feel like a Zero 0300. It, it absolutely feels that way. All right. Uh, standoff construction, definitely a fan of that. I'm not sure how I feel about the black. It's, I guess I could take it or leave it. Uh, the clip is good, okay? So notice how there's a little more room under there. Previously, this same clip, just with not as much bend, has been used with less than stellar results, so it's nice to see that. Uh, there is a lanyard hole here, which I could have done without. I feel like it takes away from the design just a little bit. And if I look at this, like this portion of the blade here, really, again, makes me think of the Zero 0300. Uh, the action on this, I've got to say, is pretty snappy. Uh, definitely, you know, one of those knives you're going to want to be flipping a lot and playing with a lot. So that's definitely nice to see. Uh, it would have been disappointing to have sort of a, a soft detent or a poor detent on this, especially considering Zero Tolerance is known for those stiff, snappy detents. Uh, size and weight on this. If you haven't figured that out by now, just by watching me, uh, this is a large knife. Let me throw the 0560 in here, or 0562 in here, just as a quick comparison. Won't, uh, I'm not going to make this uh, a whole... You know, I'm not going to go into great detail comparing the two, but just wanted to throw that in for a second. So large knife, eight and five sixteenths overall, three and three quarter inches on the blade, four inches almost of cutting edge, uh, five and three sixteenths closed. So that's this dimension right here. Uh, four inch grip area, right? So between my thumbs there is four inches. It's about nine sixteenths six thick, so a little over half an inch thick. Now the weight on this is nothing to sneeze at, okay? There's a lot of knife here. Uh, this thing weighs in at seven ounces. So it would have been nice to see them uh, mill out some of this titanium frame side here to save a little bit of extra weight. Uh, but there's also a lot of metal here. So, it, you know, I, and honestly at seven ounces, we're getting close to the point where I start to care, but it really doesn't bother me that much. Uh, let me add here, there's some really nice scales out there from uh, um, USA Made Blade. Now you have to buy the whole knife. The scales aren't available. Um, so on sec you know, the, the scales aren't available without buying a knife, but uh, I'm gonna be watching that because some of those scales were really, really attractive. All right, so what are my thoughts? What is my sort of overview of this knife, my impression, if you will? Well, well, first of all, I've got to say very, very positive first impression, right? It feels good in hand. It's big, it's beefy, it's a zero tolerance. It's sort of a throwback to the way zero tolerance used to be when I was first getting into knives. And for that, you know, there's a real connection there. Um, this is a ZT for people who love ZTs, for people who got into ZTs when, you know, the 560 was like crazy popular and every forum was filled with discussions about it, okay? Um, this this knife reminds me of the the first new of the new Star Wars movies. So remember when you went to see The Force Awakens and how many times they tied into the nostalgia of the older movies and, and sort of reminded you of all this stuff that you remember from a kid. And and to me that that's about the that's the biggest thing I enjoyed about that movie. The plot was so so the characters were okay, but the, the connections to my childhood and and to you know the, all that nostalgia is what really got me about that movie. And the same thing is true of about this knife, okay? Uh, it's just, it's a throwback. It feels like ZT, like to what in my mind a ZT should feel like. I know everyone won't agree with that, but uh, when I buy a Zero Tolerance, this is kind of what I have in mind. And so for those reasons, I'm pretty happy with it initially. Now, obviously there are a couple things, you know, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. I'm not in love with the land. There's a couple minor nitpicks here and there, uh, but time will tell you know, whether, you know, in a, in a month, I'm still as, as happy with this as I am now, or if some of those things start to get to me. Uh, of course, the other big thing will be when I take this down and clean up the pivot a little bit, how it responds. So uh, 
that's that's my overall thought. Uh, if you want one of these, go over to DLT Trading. I think they have some in stock. They're always a great place to buy ZTs and a lot of higher and stuff. That's sort of their specialty. Um, use my discount code, or I guess I don't have a discount code, but use my affiliate link, which is going to be in the description box below. That does help the channel a lot, you guys. Uh, that does make a big difference. So thanks a lot. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about this knife in the comments down below, and we will talk to you soon.